Hi everyone. Hope you are going well. It's time for Mr. Olympia 1987. Full footage enjoy. Please like, comment and subscribe. More footage is coming.
Side chest, any side. We go to to your back. Do a back double biceps. Back, let's spread. Stay in line. Come on. Triceps pose, any side. Showing abdominals and thighs. For the top six finalists, it's one minute post down.
gentlemen, it's now time to announce the sixth place and the winner of four thousand dollars. Sixth place comes from Netherlands, Barry de May. Four thousand dollars and a medal. On fifth place, winner of six thousand dollars comes Robbie Robinson. On fourth place, winner of nine thousand dollars comes from USA, Mike Christian. Winner of $9,000, Mike Christian, fourth place. A big hand for Mike Christian. Please stay on stage, all six. Please stay on stage, all six. On third place. Winning the honor and thirteen thousand dollars from United States of America, Lila Brada. There's two contestants. Left. Please, all six, stay on stage. And now we're going to announce the winner. The winner of fifty-five thousand dollars and the Mr. Olympia title. Biggest title in the world in professional bodybuilding. The winner in 1987, Mr. Olympia in Gothenburg, is Lee Haney. And second place goes to Rich Gaspari. Lee Haney. And second place, Rich Gaspari. Lee Haney. Champion from Sweden, Gothenburg. Ladies, gentlemen, now we'll take photos together with the champions and Joe Weeder and Ben Weeder and give them all a big, big hand. The winner of the 1987. Mr. Olympia, Lee Haney.
Please have an interview with Lee that so all the audience can hear it. Lee, we have thousands and thousands of people all around the world watching Mr. Olympia, all the closed circuit affiliates. They've just seen you take the title the fourth time, and I got to know, and they want to know, was there ever a moment in your head when there was a doubt? I would have to say no, Jeff. <laughs> That's why the man is fourth time Mr. Olympia. Tremendous self-confidence. Let's give him a big hand. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Hayden.